Jimmy's um, dad came from there with his, and um, he um, was a well-known side bronc rider from Canada to Texas. And I listened to him a lot because I went and helped him. I helped him to drive for him and this and that. And he told his stories about his um, horsemanship days. And um, it was really interesting because he, he won in a Cal Calvary um, stampede. And um, he won at Edmonton. And he won in Winnipeg in Canada. And he won in um, several smaller towns up there. And coming back into North Dakota, every rodeo that you can think of in North Dakota, he won. Then in South Dakota, he was a well-known champion. And going down into Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming, Oklahoma, and Texas. And um, that, that's how Jimmy got involved in, in horses, because it's in a blood life. And um, that, that old man, he said he got famous because of a horse named 77. 77 is the one he rode at, at the Fort Dates Fair with the old rodeo grounds, also in the exit road. And um, what happened there was that he, he was he was known to <laughs> um, ride a horse and um, make the eight-second whistle, but 77 took three jumps and went straight up in the air and left him up there and came down. So everybody remembered him for that, and from there <laughs> they um, talked about him all the time. And, they never talked about his winning, but they talked about getting fucked up. So that, that's that's what he wanted to hear. Uh, what you want your young boys to hear? You know, Who's getting the tattoos first? Because they're going to get into the Maybe one day you guys will get into um, saddle bronc riding or bronc riding or something, you know, bareback riding, and, and make a name for yourself because you guys are already doing something good here. And you're already recognized by people. And, and, you know, to, to, to learn history of, of people that have done things in the past and it almost died out and it's coming back again. It, it's, it's really good that you kids are interested in this stuff and, and thinking about sobriety. So the other stuff that he talked about was down in, down in, um, in Amarillo, Texas. He said he went down there and he was hated because he was a native and he was going to ride against all these white cowboys. And, and they made fun of him and everything, but when, when all was said and done, he, he won a saddle. And, and he had, he had, they didn't have enough to show for it. And he met them along the ways, coming back up, different rodeos. And he, the same outcome, he won again. And, and he, he said uh, that he, sometimes he felt bad for other natives that even had the chance but didn't take it. Instead, they turned to alcohol. He said, we, we could have made a, a, a big name for the natives. He said, oh, he named a lot of good writers and he named one out of four days. He, he's gone now, but he called him Yeshni, Yeshni Tusk. He's the one that was, was the influence in his life too, even though that guy didn't talk, he motioned to him and told him what he was doing wrong and started showing him, so he perfected his self not writing. Feels. And, you know, there's a lot of things like that that, that you guys are related, uh, people are, you know, are related to, but we never acknowledge them because we live in a different world. And a lot of our elders, older people that have left us, have done something. When I was growing up, when I was young here, when I went around out of the community, I heard people call this place Oh, here is Ewakpa, the Valley of Champions, because that's what that's what these Hukupas were doing. They were winning, they were winning in everything that they competed. And, and you know that, and to learn your history, and to ask about it, so who, who in your family can you remember that it was do, good, good athlete? Who in your family, you know? Don't worry about what someone else is doing, drinking and stuff. But the one that, you know, that, that tried. You know, those, those are the things that come. That, that's what we got to look at. We can't look down on somebody that, that didn't make it because of alcohol. 
You know, everybody has faults, and we've got to live past that and move on. But live from these old examples that were set for us. It, it's really good to know the history of your people, especially relatives, because you don't know which one of them is your rich. You got, you know, that, um, <coughs> one of the things that I was really impressed with a while back was um, Sam and Anthony and uh, Martin. You guys know them? Sam and Anthony and Martin competed in, in, in those races and they were winning. They even won that, that race down that they love. And that was really good because they represented you guys' area. And somehow they lost those horses to people that claimed them after those races. So that's why they didn't race anymore. Those are recent ones. And, and one of the recent winners around here on horse is um, Trevana. She won that um, female jockey of the year. Oh, you kind of me. And, you know, you guys got things like that to look forward to because they set a good example for you guys. And you guys are doing good on your own right. And, and I really like what you guys are doing. Even though you like, like goofing around and doing this and that, you got to remember when you're out there in public, you know, set a good example because over here, it's okay for you to fool around and do this and that, but out there, don't, don't show them that you're goofy. Don't show them that you're serious. Now, there's things in, in your life that people are going to share with you. <coughs> and sometimes it might be truthful that's going to hurt. But sometimes that has to wake you up. And don't, don't feel bad about somebody telling you anything because it's just a reminder in your life to, you know, that you're doing good and they recognize it, but they don't want you to fall off, so they tell you something. And my, 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 uh, my impression of you guys, I couldn't get out here. I first seen you guys three years ago, or four years ago. It was good to see you guys doing that. Because there's nowhere else that, that people are doing stuff like you guys are doing. Because I travel all over. I go all over and I see these things. You guys are the only ones. Then, then, then um, when I go around too, some of the comments I hear is that, wow, the whole thing is going to do something, so we've got to watch and see what they're going to do. You know? I hear that a lot. So, so that's why I really think it's to, to stick together and keep doing what you guys are doing. People are watching you because of Facebook, the airtime that you guys are under. I was all the way in Washington, they asked me, in Yakima, Washington, they asked me, are those boys living close to where you live? I said, yeah, on the same reservation. I wonder if they'll be able to come in right over here for us. So I was going to tell Austin, but I forgot to tell him, so I'm just not telling him that. I said, all you got to do is find him on Facebook and call him. And I said, I'm pretty sure you agree if they, if, if they have the means to do it. And, 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 they're, you know, and they said, yeah, we can help out. So I said, um, well, I'm going to get back. I'll, I'll tell him to um, expect the call from you guys. You know, things like that go on because you're doing some good. People are going to recognize that. You know, they're going to want you to go set an example for them. There's other places that ask about you guys too. They want to know when this ride was going on, but I, said, I, I don't know the date. I said, because of, I said, I go help out, but I never really ask questions. I just go whenever they say that it's going to be there. So I said, I, I, I can definitely tell you a date. Maybe um, you know, in the future, you can make a poster up earlier and not get, get the notice out to people. And, and thanks to Obu for coming in.
Don't get your secret for a lot of smoke up before you go home. Two minutes, they said. Oh, hello, guys. My name is Jim White, down here. I'm really glad to know the riders. I'm really glad the hospitality is received down here. Um, I had a question. Me, I'm 60 years old now. And yet, I'm still fighting to find my family tree. So, we were talking about it. But I got a lot of relations up here in this area. And that's how I kind of got involved. Okay. I'm going to pass around this microphone. Come over here. You too. To you guys. Leave the tell, chair. Tell Come with chair me over here. Us, guys, you too. You never know. You might have the pleasure to pull it. Even though we still call us Nash Rabbit. We're a very horse nation. Yeah. But then, I think it's very important we start raising our family trees. And, and by doing it now, and well, you got people to help you, elders and other people, to help you understand where you come from. It's a lot easier to find out who you want to be. Uh, give it to you. You guys do some double A, right? Double A? Double A? I just might start rapping here. Pay attention. Uh, hello, my name is Austin Williams. How are you all? Know I've been doing these rides for about 20 years now. Uh, I started out in 2004 with Melton Donna. He was on that river really uh, uh, To share a little bit of history of how I got started, was, uh, and I always share this part because uh, it kind of saddened me for, uh, because I accepted some rides and I got a job. Way back in time, they come from a old man named 